Hi, good evening everybody. In this video, we're going to turn back the clock back to one of the most, I would say, historical days in Buffalo Sabres history. Coming up. All right, so one of the most historical days in our history, and I'm going to give you folks the day. And if you can tell me where you were that day, you got a good memory. June the 26th, 2015. So let's take a look on that day. I'm going to show you guys one clip, just a, a visual. And this is what you were doing that day, guys. Here we go. Yep, I guess there wasn't much to say there. <laughs> because I know a lot of you probably, your heart raised, your heart probably beat it a few notches quicker than you wanted it to. That was the day we drafted Jack Eichel, okay? And on that day, I'll tell you where I was. I was over here at a bar called the Robbie Burns. Yes, I was sober, but no, I was not being a good boy with the gambling machines. <laughs> I was playing the machines. And it was a sunny day, and I remember I went, and uh, right before they, uh, they drafted him, I, I put the card in front of the machine because I said, I don't want to miss this moment. I suffered two years for this. I'm going to enjoy this when they drafted Jack. And I remember thinking to myself, this is going to go down in Buffalo Sabres history as a monumentous day, one of the eventually monumentous day in our history. This is what I thought <laughs> at the time. A little did I know, you know, and so I really called that one. I really threw that one out for a curve, I'll tell you, because I really thought this was going to be one of those great moments we'll go back in our history and remember when we drafted Jack Eichel. And, um, you know, and then, of course, fast forward to now and we look at what's happened and how Jack was fed up with us seemingly a hopeless franchise, basically, and him wanting out. I mean, it's, uh, we can, he can... It, People that say he wanted out because of the injury just don't even know. He asked for a trade the year before, so let's not pretend. You know, he wanted out. And the thing is, I'm a guy, I believe, you sign a contract, you made a commitment, you see it through. Be a man of your word. You know, just be a man of your word. This is what, you know, that's all we have in our life sometimes, guys, is our word, you know. And um, that wasn't good enough. And what will happen eventually is uh, we move on, right? We move on. So I came up with this video idea, and I'm going to have a little fun with it. It's just really a fun video, guys. Just have a little fun. Kick back a bit before the, the games today. I'm going to get this up. Well, maybe I don't know if I'll get it up before the game, but I'm going to get it up maybe in the intermission. i got to go uh, run to my daughters right after I'm done these, these videos. So I come up with uh, an idea that I'm going to show you how young our core is, okay? I'm going to give you an idea. I'm going to give you a visual. And we're gonna just we're gonna discuss it from that point on. We'll uh, we'll discuss it after. So let me get on this. And if you're wondering what this video is about, how old were they then? How old was our core then? The day Jack got drafted, June the 26th, 2015. How old was our young core at the time? So let's take a look at it, and we will discuss it because. Darlene, Samuelson, Cousins, Krebs, Paterka, Quinn, Power. I mean, these are all big pieces we know within our organization. These are the names that we're hoping that are going to be on a Stanley Cup one day. All these names right here. All of them. So we're going to look at them and discuss it a little as I unfold this video for a bit of fun. So how old were they then? Okay. And the first one we're going to do, Rasmus Dallin. And Darlene, at the time when Jack was drafted that day, Rasmus Darlene, folks, was 15 years old. Okay? And this is the cornerstone of our defenseman right here. There he is. This was, and I, and I guys, I believe, I honestly believe in my heart that if we would have got the Connor McDavid, okay, we never would have got Rasmus Darlene. So... Let's not forget the good that's come from losing that lottery also. Rasmus Dahlin was 15 years old. Matthias Samuelson.
was also 15 years old at the time. So this is giving you kind of an idea just how young these guys were. None of these guys were even thought of being Buffalo Sabres back to the day we drafted Jack, right? So everything kind of just went, it just to, went to left field after that. Dylan Cousins. Was 14 years old at the time. Who's next? Peyton Krebs. Peyton Krebs was also 14 years old at the time. So it's crazy to think, eh? People say we're starting a rebuild now. Not really. These, these guys are all young men now, but it's just funny to see how it didn't work out back then, you know? Gigi Paterka. was 13 years old that day. So all these guys, you gotta remember, were probably watching the draft, you know? Dreaming one day of being an NHL player. So Paterka was 13 years old. Jack Quinn? Was also 13 years old. Now, some of these guys might have been a few months away from 14 or had just turned 13. I'm just giving you what age they were that day, just so you know. So 15, 15, 14, 14, 13, 13, and Owen Power, rounding it off with Owen Power. Folks, Owen Power was 12 years old the day Jack got drafted. Keep in mind, this is what these are the youngsters that he kind of gave up on in a way, not just the franchise, but by leaving the franchise the way it happened. You know, you're giving up on these guys kind of to a degree, you know. So that's, that's what our main young core, that was their ages. Little did we know, seven years later, right, we'd all be talking about these guys and not Jack Eichel, you know, seven years ago, isn't it? It's kind of weird. For me, I look back at stuff like this. And I see that the franchise completely shifted over, completely changed over, you know? So, and to round it out, I put, it, I put up the also rands, you know, because they were a little younger as well. Tage Thompson was 17. Jacob Bryson was 17. Henry Yokiharu was 16. Casey Middlestat was 16. And UPL was also 16 at the time. So you got five there. And you got seven there. You had 12 guys basically inside of our organization that were younger. And I think, you know, looking, uh, looking back at this, and if we're going to discuss it logically, anybody that thinks that we don't know what we're doing or franchises that think that the Sabres are a joke since they drafted Jack Eichel don't know this story. They don't know all this youth is on our team. They just don't. A lot of, a lot of uh, fans will go and they'll talk smack online and they don't even know. They just don't know. They don't know these things. They, you know, they just want to like, they want to hear themselves and they, they don't care about the rest. So, yeah, it's kind of weird, eh? If you look back and you think of seven years ago and uh, there we were, we were all excited that day. I know, I know. The majority of you were. I mean, we were all excited. I mean, we wanted Connor McDavid. I mean, any Saber fan in his right mind wanted Connor McDavid. I used to get into arguments with Sabres fans online that were telling me Jack Eichel's better than Connor McDavid. I'm like, oh my God, are we going to do this now? Really? Is this how negative this fan base has gotten? <laughs> like, we're going to really try that? The, the better than McDavid thing? Come on. I think it was obvious that McDavid was a runaway for number one. But Jack Eichel, we expected big things from him. And, um, it just never, never came and never came to light. It just didn't, you know, but the ripple effect guys, the ripple effect of Jack Eichel not working out are all the majority of this is all really cause it didn't work out. You know what I mean? The draft positioning, the trade, you know, draft, you know, and even Samuelson to some extent where he was picked, you have to say, because things weren't working out. And once the whole system just looked like it was doomed to failure, 
this is the end result behind me, these guys. So we're, we're doing okay. You know, when I see this, I don't see a bunch of guys 30 now that were older than Jack when he's drafted. I see uh, everybody here. I got seven here. And what do I have? Five over here, right? 12 guys. And that's not even counting some of our prospects. Really, it's not. I didn't even put Devin Levi up there. I'm just saying. You know, and yeah, we didn't, Krebs is directly impact, you know, we didn't draft him, but he also was, because of Jack Eichel, we got him. So these are just things I was looking at. Just something I wanted to do, guys, just for some fun. And I will see you. I got one more video coming at your way. I'll see you in that one.